When people think of the United States, a common opinion might be of the land or maybe a country. These definitions are outdated by half a century, if not more. There were at least seven different definitions of the United States throughout history layered like an onion. The most recent iteration was in the founding of the United Nations in 1945. The United States gave up its sovereignty, its government, and its country status to become a de facto United Nations member nation corporate franchise. It's a governmental services corporation. The transition was seamless. Since the implementation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, there have only been United Nations resident citizens called legal presences. All birth certificates end up at the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation at 55 Water Street, New York City, in trust estate by the United Nations in exchange for the United Nations resident citizen legal presences. U.S. citizens are merely specialized United Nations resident citizens. The member nation trades birth certificates for immunity in operating UN legal presences against the people. Their birth certificates turn humans into chattel legal presences with no constitutional protections. The United States entered the United Nations by first declaring statutory bankruptcy receivership in 1933 and then by being in a legal state of belligerency, which is to say, in default and breach of the peace. The United States was at war with Germany and the Axis powers in World War II. The Allies won the right to global domination from the Axis and then they put all of humanity into a legal slavery control matrix through the United Nations. After a United Nations formative meeting, several countries declared war on Germany in breach of peace as a condition to join the World Collective. The United Nations controls the breaching of peace rather than bringing actual peace. The United Nations is the continuation of World War II. Furthermore, when a government joins the UN, the trusteeship of the National Trust is surrendered to the United Nations. The Secretary General acts as the trustee of the National Trust Estates, the President or Prime Minister is the Chief Executor's Office, and the Legal Presence Artificial Person Corporations are the beneficiaries of the National Trust Estates. The Presidents take orders for the National Trust Estates from the United Nations Secretary General. The relationship is financially secured through the U.S. Permanent Representative at the UN. Permanent. As such, each country's constitution is subverted by the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights due to legal presence strawman corporations being issued by the United Nations. The United States does not issue its own legal presences. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the highest legal document on the planet for artificial persons and how the UN controls humanity and Earth. It even replaces all courtrooms globally with their UN competent national tribunals. In the U.S., these tribunals have no obligation to the Constitution except in fictional appearance and propaganda only. Tribunals are about whatever suits the corporate needs. All judges are merely United Nations administrators of U.N. legal presences. Many U.N. administrator judges operate without oaths, and those that do, the oaths are to a mere corporate legal fiction doing business as the United Nations. There is no 14th Amendment citizen in these tribunals. There are only UN member nation resident citizens. The following clip points to the takeover of all courtrooms in America by the United Nations. Here is Washtenaw County Prosecutor Brian Mackey claiming his masters are the United Nations. Just like Michigan is simply a corporate, you know what the difference between the state of Michigan and the territory of Michigan is. this correct? Do you know the difference? Uh, probably not the way that you do, because you seem to have studied this in some Okay, so you're saying that ignorance of the law is an excuse, is that correct? Uh, I believe that that is not an excuse, no. Okay, so then you need to know these things. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. So, the Constitution has been relegated to the dustbin of history under UN dictates. According to the United Nations treaties, even American nationals are placed into the member nation trust estate for being stateless. The United Nations is merely self-granting of the authority to impose itself with impunity on human beings across America and the globe through the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Indeed, simply claiming to be human allows the UN to impose its legal presence corporate overlay in total disregard of the US Constitution. All sheriffs and legal fictional enforcers singularly operate on the United Nations legal presence artificial persons. It is simply by treating the human as surety for the legal presence rather than its authorized representative that these corporate policy enforcers assume what they do, and it's merely a legal fiction written on a piece of paper by their UN administrator pretending to be a judge executed by order followers. 
The most accurate definition of the United States after 1945 is the United Nations doing business as the United States. The United States is a costume, a mask, a corporation that the United Nations wears. The United States is a UN member nation de facto corporate franchise. It manages the 57 federal state franchises and the separate 50 incorporated state franchises. The United States driver's licenses, passports, social security, selective service, naturalization papers, and even death certificates are separate United Nations authorized and issued legal presences. The base level legal presence appears to be the birth certificate which enters people into the legal slavery control matrix of the United Nations. The United States is merely a United Nations corporation with no more power nor authority than Walmart, Kmart, McDonald's, or Federal Express. Well, you're absolutely right, Judge. You know, what we have to look at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America, of this corporation called the United States of America, of this corporation called the United States of America. Look the power of the UN over the United States is so vast that the United Nations has taken over all of New York City right beneath our noses. New York City is the fourth sovereign city-state besides the Vatican City, City of London, and City of Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. New York City, United Nations, is the franchisor of member nation, corporations, and all things legal. It creates the framework of rights abuses by member nations via legal presences. The UN is at legal war against humanity run by the Secretary General Trustee. For a restoration of the United States and Constitution, the UN would absolutely need to be dissolved. War is the business of the United Nations doing business as the United States. For more information on the takeover of New York City by the UN, please see Episode 4, United Nations, the Fourth Sovereign City-State of New York City. Like, share, subscribe, and notify.